In this tutorial, we will teach you how to work with newspaper columns in Microsoft Word 2010. In the Word document, go to the Page Layout tab and then click on the Columns drop down menu. Once done, you will see different column options to choose from. In this video, we will choose the Two column option to arrange the text into two columns. Next, apply a break in order to make your columns even. Simply bring your cursor to the place where you want to apply the break. Once there, go to the Breaks button under the Page Layout tab and select the Column option. As shown in the video, this will shift the last paragraph to the next column. If you want to put the first paragraph only into columns, simply select the content of the first paragraph and then go to the Columns button and select the To option. Similarly, you can put the last paragraph only into a column by first selecting it and then selecting the To option from the Columns drop-down menu. You can also break any paragraph into three columns. In the video, we have broken the first one into three columns. In order to do so, go to the Columns button and select the 3 option from the drop-down menu. To make further adjustments to the columns, go to the More Columns option available on the Columns drop-down menu. A new window will appear in front of you where you can set the width and spacing for a particular column. You can also select the option for adding lines between columns. This is how you can break your content into columns.